Ah, Your Excellency. I was talking about your exploits to Captain Ulrich. Your Excellency? Captain, Lieutenant, Quartermaster Manfred informed me that you had made several arrests. Indeed. Lieutenant Ermelind confessed, which enabled us to flush out most of the gang. I can't quite believe that all the arrested men are involved in this case. I know many of them, and could have sworn they were honorable people. I'm sorry, Captain. I understand. It's a shock. We were all sure that our comrades would never be involved in this kind of thing. Will you continue the investigation? Of course. We can't stop our research until we've completely dismantled this organization. Lieutenant Alexander was asking me to transfer him to New Serene. To be a part of the investigation there. Uh, to manage it, if you allow it, my captain. I was honored to participate in the interrogations of Lieutenant Ermelind and to be able to arrest all these criminals. I would not want to leave things half finished. As I told you, Lieutenant, I can't approve the transfer of an officer from another garrison. I must refer to the commander. In any case, we're most grateful for your help. But we can now bring this investigation to an end without you. I see. What goes on in the guard is the guard's own business. It's a bit like that, yes. We can't let the actions of a small group compromise the reputation of the whole guard. Hmm. You forget, once again, that you have not yet obtained your transfer, Lieutenant. In the meantime, please be dismissed. At your orders, Captain. Goodbye, Your Excellency. I'm sorry you had to hear this call to order. This Lieutenant is inclined to forget who he's speaking to. It must be the enthusiasm of youth. It's possible. In any case, and contrary to what he said, we will still need your help. Why is that? Lieutenant Alexander claims that Ermelin's confession allowed him to arrest all these men. But I attended one of these interrogations, and all she talked about was a secret camp. The one in which Torsten's recruits received their special instruction for the coup d'etat. If I understood correctly, this place was taken back and used by the criminal organization. But our lieutenant did not mention it, which surprised me and led me to doubt his sincerity. Perhaps Alexander failed to report it to increase his prestige later. But he could have another motive. So you would like us to go there? Indeed. And I'd like to accompany you. I am no longer a field officer. But I still know how to hold my own, and I want to see this case with my own eyes. You know the place, so you will be my guide. Very well, Captain. You can count on me. Thank you, Your Excellency. I will get going right away. Will you come with me? Yes, I'm ready. Let's hurry. We're almost there. How would you like to proceed, Captain? By the book. We'll go through the whole camp, neutralizing any threat. Locked. Bit of poison on my blade. Ah! And let's go!
poison on my blade. Then let's go! on my blade. Then let's go! Lieutenant Klaus, so you are part of this disgusting plot. Lay down your weapons, Lieutenant. Any resistance is futile. Your troops have been decimated. I will not surrender, Your Excellency. Death is sweeter than the price of treason. If you speak, we will be lenient. You, maybe, but Egon, I doubt it. Farewell. He's poisoned. The plague. I'd have liked to have questioned that traitor. These letters are signed by Egon. We must go to the office of the leader of these criminals. We could study the handwriting to find out who's behind this pseudonym.
It looks like poison. This document talks about eliminating the witnesses to the case. Manfred and us are definitely on that list. It's Sergeant Franz. Poor man. He paid dearly for the help he gave us. He was beaten to death. Quartermaster Herbert ordered him to accompany Lieutenant Alexander to answer Manfred's questions, but he never made it to New Serene. I was sure that the Lieutenant was not genuine. He must be involved. <laughs> We did a good job, Your Excellency. Egon will never come back from a hit like this. Certainly. But we know that there are still criminals amongst your troops, including their leader. We know that Lieutenant Alexander is involved in all this. The sergeant's body and the fact that he didn't tell us about this camp are telltale signs. Perhaps he will be able to provide us with a lead. Otherwise, we still have these letters. Remember that we are targets. Just like Manfred, we will have to stay alert. You are right. Let's get back to New Serene as soon as possible. You will hand over the evidence to Quartermaster Manfred and assure yourself of his safety. I will go and ask our insolent lieutenant for an explanation.
Your Excellency, I wasn't sure I'd see you alive again. How did you know we were here? Did the captain tell you? He was arrested while coming back here. Lieutenant Alexander said he was finally reported by his accomplices. <laughs> that lieutenant has some nerve. We know he's involved. We found the body of the sergeant who was to accompany him here. He got rid of him to punish him for helping us, or to stop him from revealing more. We also found this document saying that everyone who knows about the case should be eliminated. You're in danger, and they've already found a way to get rid of the captain. Most of the men who are loyal to him are in jail. I can't do anything without help. I've been trying to get the commander. If anybody can restore order to all of this, she can. Here, take this evidence and show it to her. Alas, there's nothing in there that clearly indicates who Egon is. The recent actions of Lieutenant Alexander suggest that he's the brains behind this operation. And we only have to compare his handwriting with these letters to be sure. I'm going to join the commander, but you should intervene. I'm afraid he'll get rid of the captain. The Sir, Your Excellency! What a joy to see you again. We finally stopped Egon. The Captain will be happy. Naturally. And that is why you were surrounded by the men I apprehended. We visited your secret camp and found the body of poor Sergeant Franz, who, in spite of his death, continues to betray you. You are a member of this organization, Lieutenant. And when we compare your handwriting to the letters we have seized, it wouldn't surprise me to discover that Egon is none other than you. We prepared a discreet death for you, worthy of your uncle's court, little poison. And our troublesome diplomat would have been out of the way. But since you leave us with no choice, finish them. It'll be a real pleasure. Finally, our revenge has come. A bit of poison on my blade. You and let's go! Let's see the reward of this fate! Why did you have to stick your nose in our business? If you had not been so careless, so eager to get rich and climb to the top, maybe we would never have discovered your operations. Surrender, Alexander. Unless you prefer Egon. Let me go! I could make you rich. I doubt that the commander would find that arrangement acceptable. Wretches! Your Excellency, Lieutenant Alexander was court-martialed and will soon be executed. You have my gratitude, Your Excellency. Without you, this assassin would have probably strangled me in prison. Manfred gave me all the evidence you gathered and told me about the case. I'm just sorry he didn't tell me about it sooner. My apologies, Commander. But you've been so busy since starting your new position. I never thought the case would be so big. Be that as it may, the high-ranking culprits have been punished and the foot soldiers will be sent back to the continent. A few months on the front should bring them back to reality. We owe you so much, Your Excellency. Without you, the Guard would probably be nothing more than a band of brigands. I am extremely grateful. I will not forget what you did for us. Don't mention it, Commander.